Hello students, so welcome back to episode 19 of Decode NCRT. So today we are going to decode the very small chapter of organic chemistry and that is amines, right? So yes, again I want to remind you the purpose of this chapter, so like this uh, video, I am not going to teach you anything here, I will be just telling you what are the important points you should be remembering, you should be highlighting apart from the normal questions and all, right? Normal questions and all that you will find in your, uh, uh, in your class lectures note in your board uh, question bank everywhere but inside the book there were some lines from where questions can be asked so these are the things that will be highlighted here okay so yes now quickly let's get started very important question very very important paragraph here it is given the uses of some amines okay so Yes, so adrenaline and ephedrine both containing secondary amino group are used to increase the blood pressure. This statement can be asked as a in a 5 marker question, you know it is 3 plus 2 right so or 2 plus 2 plus 1 somewhere it can be asked it can be asked in mcqs so please highlight this one you should be remembering that adrenaline and ephedrine these are secondary amino groups they are used in the blood pressure in to maintain the blood pressure okay next coming your novacin okay so what you have to remember regarding novacin so this thing is novacin it is used as a synthetic amino group first of all it is your synthetic amino group used as an anesthetics where in dentistry okay these are the things you should be remembering next benadryl okay a well known antihistamitic drug also contains tertiary amino group okay these are the things that you have to remember next here about the structure of amines you know it is sp3 hybridized and the geometry of the amines is pyramidal and due to the presence of unshared pair of elect okay here a question may be arised why the bond angle in amines is less than the tetrahedral angle is less than this 109.5 what is the actual value that is not given okay yeah it is given here somewhere 108 so it is less than the actual value why because of the lone pair present okay next classification of amines so you know it classifies on the, the basis of number of hydrogens that is replaced okay now amines are said to be simple what is mixed amines and what is simple amines that also can be asked as a question or question can be which of the following is a simple amine or find the mixed amine among the following so you should be knowing if all the alkyl or al aryl groups are same then it is simple and if it is different it is mixed amines okay Next nomenclature here you should be little careful about the nomenclature you can practice this nomenclature table very very important okay. Next moving to okay so preparation first is reduction of nitro compounds okay next uh, here something important is there that reduction it with iron scrap and hydrochloric acid is preferred why okay so the reason here is the iron scrap in and if, if you take FeCl2 gets formed okay and this FeCl2 hydrolyzes to release the hydrochloric acid right you can see here FeHCl is there right so FeCl2 will form and that will again hydrolyze and you will get HCl gas back so that is why with small amount of hydrochloric acid also you can initiate the reaction because that HCl will be produced again and again in the reaction okay next we have Ammonolysis, so what is the process? What do you mean by ammonolysis? That definition is there. This reaction is also important. Yes, next, what is the disadvantage of ammonolysis? That can be a question because it yields you both primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary amines. So, it is not a very good idea. Okay. Next, moving forward, reduction of nitriles. We have this reaction. Then you have reduction of amides with using LiAlH4. Next, you have Gabriel thalamide synthesis. Here, a question can be arised. Why aromatic primary amines cannot be prepared using Gabriel thalamide synthesis? Here, again, the answer will be it is not possible because aromatic amines do not or aromatic halides do not undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction. Okay. Next, we have here Hoffman bromamide degradation. Okay, here some speciality about this is the amine so formed contains one carbon less than that the present in the amide. Okay. 
Okay, next this in-text questions, please solve. Okay, all the in-text questions are very, very important and solved examples you have to solve, this conversions also you have to do. Next coming to physical properties, okay, here a question is there, out of butane 1 OL and butane 1 amine which will be more stable in water, okay, or which will be more soluble in water, sorry. So, the answer here will be alcohols are more polar than amines and form stronger intermolecular hydrogen bonding, right. So, that is why what will happen, see alcohols are more polar than amines and form stronger intermolecular hydrogen bonding than amines. So, that is why we can say that amines will be more soluble, sorry alcohols will be more soluble, okay. Next moving forward here. Uh, here something is regarding the boiling point of amines, I think, uh, yes, therefore in order of boiling point, yes, so how can you define the boiling point primary, secondary and tertiary, how, what is the explanation of this order, this is the answer, the reason is hydrogen bonding, here you have more hydrogen bonding can see, so that is why in primary amines there will be more hydrogen bonding, more uh, intermolecular hydrogen bonding, so it will be difficult to boil it. Here there is no hydrogen in tertiary, so less hydrogen bonding, okay, so that is the reason here. Next moving forward to chemical reactions, basic character of amines, we know it can donate uh, electrons, so that is why it is basic in nature then these reactions not that very important, here something important, larger will be the uh, Kb value, larger the Kb value or smaller the PKB value, greater will be the basic nature, okay. Next here a question is there, aliphatic are stronger bases than ammonia due to the plus i effect of the alkyl group, right. When in, um, in uh, aliphatic amines we have R groups attached. These R groups have plus I effect, they donate electrons to the nitrogen, electron density on the nitrogen increases and hence it can donate better, okay. Uh, next, aromatic amines are weaker bases than ammonia due to the electron withdrawing group of the aryl group. So, in aromatic amines what happens, the aryl group is an electron withdrawing group, it withdraws the electrons of nitrogen and that is why electrons on the nitrogen are less available for donation, okay. Next we have here, uh, okay, okay, next coming to basicity, alkanamines versus ammonia, okay, so that we have discussed, this is that alkanamines are means alkyl amines are more basic than your, uh, uh, what I will say, normal uh, amines, okay, or normal ammonia, tertiary, secondary, primary and NH3, that is because of R groups present in these. Okay. Next we have, uh, there is something, the greater the size of the ion, lesser will be the solvation and less stabilize the ion. So now when you come to the aqueous medium, okay, in aqueous medium there is something about called a solvation effect and solvation effect will be more if size is small. So you can see in primary amine solvation is good compared to secondary and in tertiary. Then so due to this what happens, due to these two mixture in aqueous medium, the basic order is compared is primary, secondary and tertiary. So also there is a steric hindrance of your secondary and primary, uh, like steric hindrance of the R group that is attached. So mix and match, the final result that we get around the basis, it is this one and this is a very, very important question. So please mark it very, very important, okay. Next comparing aryl amines versus ammonia, okay. So, if you see aryl amines, PKB value of aniline is quite high, PKB value is very high means it is less basic, why? It is because like any other aryl amines, the NH2 group is attached directly to the benzene ring. It results in the unshared electron pair on nitrogen atom to be in conjugation with the benzene ring and thus making it less available for protonation, okay. So, you can see this electron lone pair is involved in resonance, so it is not available for donation, okay. Next we have, uh, okay, one more, first is that one thing, okay. Now after, even if we get H plus, okay, even if it accepts the H plus, so here there is something, okay. We know that greater the number of resonating structures, greater is the stability, okay. So if you see the resonating structure of aniline and the resonating structure of an anilium ion after it has accepted one proton, here you see more number of structures is there, so definitely this is more stable, aniline is more stable than NH3 plus means the conjugate acid that is formed is less stable, why? Because of less resonating structures. So 
thus you can infer that aniline is more stable than anilium ion okay so therefore the proton acceptability or the basic nature of aniline or other aromatic amines would be less than that of ammonia okay so the order is like this for clarification first is your rnh2 okay then is ammonia and next is aryl amines okay this is the order clear next coming to the groups electron releasing group will increase the basicity electron withdrawing groups will decrease the basicity okay fine next moving forward we have alkylation acylation reactions okay uh, so acylation can be done with acid chlorides and hydrides and esters this reaction is known as acylation so you should know the definition next we have here something important the reaction is carried out in presence of a base stronger than amine like pyridine which removes the hcl formed and shifts the equilibrium to the right hand side okay so this pyridine is used as a base so whatever hcl is formed that is removed so that the reaction can go in the forward direction okay next we have amines also react with benzoyl chloride and this reaction is known as benzoylation so you should be knowing what is benzoylation next we have carbyl amine reaction you should be knowing that it is a test for primary amines then you have reaction with nitrous acid aliphatic amines gives you alcohol and aromatic amines give you benzene diazonium chloride secondary and tertiary amines react with nitrous acid in different manners okay next you have hinsberg reagent this is also very important questions can be asked like how hinsberg reagent can be used to differentiate primary secondary and tertiary amines so you know primary amines which is formed here there is a uh, h so that is soluble in alkali and when you have secondary amines there is no h here so that is not soluble in alkali and the tertiary alkynes tertiary amines do not react at all okay uh, oh sorry okay next coming to electrophilic substitution aniline is a what electron donating group so the substituents will go to ortho and para position so if you do bromination it's a highly activating group so all the positions are occupied by bromine to reduce this reactivity what we go we protect the nh2 group we do acylation okay after acylation if you do bromination it will come only at the para position now how does that happen or why does this work now see if you just nhcoch3 if you add the lone pair of nitrogen is now involved in this resonance and it is not only involved with the resonance with the ring right so that is why the lone pair is distributed and hence the ring is somewhat deactivated fine next we have in nitration same thing nitration we get a major amount of meta product okay what is the reason for that that is also a very important question here so when hno3 you give right nitrogen takes this h plus because it is a base so it forms you an helium ion and it becomes meta directing that is why no2 is formed okay next we have sulfonation this reactions you should be knowing then here is a question alanines do not undergo friedel craft reaction what is the reason it is reacting with the lewis acid because aniline is a base it reacts with a lewis acid which acts as a catalyst due to this nitrogen of aniline acquires positive charge and hence is a strong deactivating group okay next we have here this intex questions please solve diazonium salts the n2 plus group is called the diazonium group okay next you have the reactions that the stability of this arene diazonium ion is explained on the basis of resonance so we know that if you have alkyl amines and you react with uh, hno2 we get first diazonium but they are very unstable so they get converted to oh but the same thing does not happen with aryl amines if you take aryl amines and if you react with hno2 you will get benzene diazonium chloride and it remains as diazonium chloride because this intermediate is very stable why it is stable it is because of this resonance okay next we have here uh, 
the conversion of primary aromatic amines into diazonium salts is known as diazotization. Due to its instability, the diazonium salt is not generally stored and is used immediately after its preparation. Okay, so it is stable, like it is more stable as compared to alkyl diazonium salts, but yes, not very stable that you can keep it for longer time. So immediately you should be reacting it. So this temperature you should remember 273 to 78 Kelvin. Okay, next. Uh, Reactions are there, so replacement by different different groups. You have Sandmeyer reaction, you have Gatterman reaction, you have reaction with iodide ion, reaction with fluoride ion H. Then you have uh, hydroxyl group reaction replacement by NO2 group. Okay, so these all reactions are there, and then you have coupling reactions also. So coupling reaction with phenol and with aniline. Next importance of diazonium salt in synthesis, so what is the importance of diazonium salt? It is used in the synthesis of variety of compounds which cannot be synthesized directly, okay. So just that we have seen here, right. So then do these in text questions, solve examples, okay. So yes students that is all in this, so you will be learning the general thing but I told you the introduction part has some very important thing that you should be knowing. Next why alkyl amines are more uh, basic, why aryl amines are less basic that is the question, basicity order in aqueous medium that is an important question, okay. And diazonium salts all reactions are very very important, okay. So yes students that is all in this class and I hope that you have liked this session, if you have any doubt please comment down and I will definitely address it. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe the channel.